Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. So very quickly, I've felt like a broken record. I've, I just realized like the last five videos that I've made have all been on the NBA Finals. And I just feel like I have been over and over repeating pretty much the same things. Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Raptors, Warriors, Toronto, Golden State, blah, 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 blah. And so I needed to find something new, and I I actually found this out yesterday. I I had the script already, you know, made out for, for the video. I just wasn't able to finish it yesterday. That was my bad. So I'm going to try to do this really quickly now. And this is something that should have been major news and kind of got brushed underneath all the hubbub about the NBA Finals. But Tony Parker, the last of the great Spurs who were still playing, obviously he wasn't playing for the Spurs, he was playing for the Hornets. He has said via the undefeated in an interview with them that he is hanging it up. The last of the great Spurs era that I remember, you know, growing up early 2000s, late 90s, has officially come to an end. All we're really waiting on now is Greg Popovich to, you know, sadly leave. We are going to have the last time to celebrate Manu, to celebrate Tony, uh, Tim Duncan, and now celebrate Tony Parker at Tony Parker's, you know, uh, Jersey Rising into the rafters in San Antonio and... It's going to be kind of an emotional event and for, you know, all all NBA fans because we remember this great uh era that 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 was so surprising because of the way they did it, team basketball, defensive focus. It wasn't the sexiest basketball, but it was the most productive we have seen in a in a long time up to that point. From after the Jordan years, then it kind of became this, kind of became the Spurs and Laker years. And I always leaned, you know, more towards the Spurs on that side of things. So, via the undefeated, why did Tony Parker decide now is the time? Now is the year to retire. Well, he said, if I can't be Tony Parker and play for a championship, I don't want to play. Tony Parker, we know, was the 2007 NBA Finals MVP. He played for 18 years, wanted to play 20, had four NBA championships, six all-star appearances, averaged 15.5 points, 5.6 assists, and 2.7 rebounds. Good numbers. Not like astronomically blow, blow your mind, but they were good. He was decent. Solid. But he said last last season in Charlotte was different for him for him. He said being away from his family was a factor. And with 17 seasons with the San Antonio Spurs, felt like a championship could be won every year. Every single year. And he said it was very weird to arrive at a team and be like, there's no way. You're like, there's no way this team and we are going to win a championship. There's no way that the Charlotte Hornets were going to win a championship that year. And if we can't win a championship, then why are we playing? He said he doesn't play for money. He doesn't play for fun. He plays to win. He plays to compete. Tony Parker, you could... Say what what you want about Mr. Ava Longoria, or the former Mr. Ava Longoria. I, I believe they did get divorced. Um, <laughs> he doesn't play for money. He plays to compete. He plays to win. And nothing. And this is where I I look and I say, you know, this is an issue when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets. They're in. That they're in the NBA me, uh, mediocrity so often that now we now when we look at Kemba, Kemba says he wants to come back. 
about the NBA free agency. But losing takes it out on you, and that's exactly what I feel like. He says, physically, Tony Parker is healthy enough to go for another two years. But losing, losing just takes it out of you. And now imagine going from a championship team to a losing team. Going from every year you made the playoffs up until you moved. That's going to take a lot out of you. I mean, we we saw, we have seen greats from Brett, Barry Sanders in the NFL and Kelvin Johnson, you know, leave the Lions and pretty much say because I was stuck with the Lions. I only wanted to play for one team in my career. I was loyal to the Lions, but they sucked and losing sucks big time. And I was out that this is kind of where, where I feel that Tony Parker is coming from. He uses, I want to win. And I want to be Tony Parker. I played for championships. And in Charlotte, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't ask for a trade. He talked to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan said, okay, you know, if you want to go, you know, that's your choice. Thank you for, for being here for a year. He said the Charlotte fans were, were amazing. They were nice. It was just, he couldn't be the Tony Parker. We all knew from, from the past 18 seasons. And... That's it. The end, the last spur is gone. And thank you, Tony. This is Ken Raider signing out.